Hello, welcome back. We're now on a, another game. Okay, we're about to start the battle train. So, kick back, relax. Um, if y'all are also playing the game at the same time and trying to learn, that's perfectly fine. Alrighty, let's get started. Battle train. So we just click continue. Uh, basically, this is the champion selection screen. So right now, there's usually a time limit. You usually have in one queue. I think you have at least fifty seconds. You have at least fifty seconds to decide um, what you want to play. Um, there's all the roles. Uh, this is the map. It'll show you the map that you'll be on. So this is Summoner's Rift. Um, so I can choose either Ash or Garen. I uh, pretty I pretty much explained Ash a little bit if you watched the basic tutorial, like learning the basics. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play Garen because Garen is um, yes we know Ash is a range fighter. Garen is a melee fighter. So Okay, um, I don't want to select anything, they just want me to do everything that they say, so we just lock in. Um, you can also chat with other players, like you can tell them what role that you want. Basically, the roles that you want to say, you want to say, I want to go mid. You, well, don't say I want to go mid, you just say mid, top, jungle, ADC, support. Um, jungle, you don't have to type the full name jungle for the, the abbreviation. You want to say JG for jungle. I'll tell you about the abbreviations and all that stuff. So, um, then we have like extra summer spells. Uh, runes and masteries, we're going to get to that later. Right now, you do not need to do anything. Do not add mastery points, do not add I'm doing this to help y'all, because I already know I could literally buy all the runes uh, for tier 2, which I'm going to explain tier 2 and tier 3 runes in another video. Um, masteries, okay, rune page, okay, and now we're going to lock in. Also, this is your ward. You can probably, you can get different types of wards, which we talked about when the, uh, episode with the store, like you learned about the store and everything. So, alright, let's get straight into this. This is going to be another long video. Uh, the bot game, I, when we get to the bots game, I'm going to like kind of cut it because um, I'll just show like highlights and stuff. Uh, I might talk on certain things. I'm still trying to get the OBS X all set. Alright, so now we're ready to play. Let's start the game and let's get started. Hopefully we don't have that. Hopefully we don't have that talking lady again. I'm pretty sure we're still gonna have the talking lady. They need a better voice actor for at least explaining. I I, I don't mind if it's a lady, but she just sounds she the way she was saying it, it just sounded so motionless. It was like, oh my god. Yes, this is how what some of the gameplay would probably look like. But it's, it's not going to look like the typical like World of Warcraft and stuff if you watch the basic tutorial. Um, basically, we're doing everything that we just did in the basic tutorial, except this is a lot harder because the goal is... Still to defeat the enemy Nexus, but we got to get past three towers and then the head. Also the enemy. So, alright, this is our advanced training. So, just like y'all are prepared. Sharp and handsome face to start the battle. 
Okay, so Garen is a melee fighter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all this, because I didn't tell y'all this in the basic tutorial. So, everyone has a passive. You have a unique champion passive that can change the tides of the game, and what also could make, uh, what also makes the champion unique. So Garen, his pa his uh his like little passive is perseverance. So Garen isn't like hit by anyone. He literally regenerates health like every five seconds. So he just gets like two percent of his max health. But the more like health I buy, the more like regeneration he'll get. Um, it like so when it gets to level eleven, like the minions, they no longer stop his passive. At level sixteen, um. His uh, passive gets increased way better than normal. So, well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to buy the Darn Shield. We're going to buy a Health Potion. Garen is supposed to be played in the top lane. So, we go to the top lane. Um, I'm already going to tell y'all this. Do not go to all items. You do whatever it says on recommended until you hit level 10. Okay, yes, I already know. Um, so, basically, we're supposed to start with our normal. Everyone starts with Q. Some champions, you either have to start with W or start with E. Because every champion's different, and there's a different way to do it. So, with Garen, you start with Q. So, let's go. Oh, actually, wait, we forgot one more thing. Oh, wait, no. Oh. The heck? Oh, it just went ahead and gave us the ward. Okay. That's great. So basically, what we have to do now is destroy the turret. But it's it takes a lot more than that. Um you have to learn to farm. So farm, this is your wave. You're gonna get different waves. I think like I think it's every every two or three waves, you'll get a cannon minion wave, and that gives you more gold when you kill them. Basically, you want a last hit. So wait till a minion is low. Fucking you, god damn it. He's gonna take all of it. Uh usually top lane is usually just one person top. And the jungler is supposed to be okay. All right, decent trade. So she likes to fight a lot, so we just have to. If he doesn't like keep trying to steal the minions, okay, there we go. Basically, they're making the game a bit easier for us. Okay, uh, with Garen, I usually take, go ahead and take E next. Alright, there we go. There are sometimes you'll go against top laners that have a uh, range. And you have to play a little bit differently. Like, you need to play a bit passive. So. Alright, we can kill the Sivir because this is just a bot. I'm well aware, there we go. Get W. Okay, W is good. Let's just farm this real quick and then I'll tell y'all the next thing we need to do. Okay, so basically, if you have this much gold already, you need to bank. So, I already know. I already got two kills. I'm already ahead. Um, you want, If you need to recall, like it said in the basic tutorial, you hit B on your keyboard. Um, so now, we're going to have to buy. So you just go ahead and do the essential island, because we actually can have enough to get all of it. Not quite. 
Oh, that's our bottom lane. Okay, our bottom lane is doing good. Even though these are bots. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna probably destroy the turret before. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this. The bottom turrets are weaker than mid and top. I don't know why, but it puts more an incentive to get a bottom tower than the other two towers. If they take a bit longer to take out. Um, so let me go ahead and tell you, like, you need to also, before you, uh, start the game, I'm gonna let you do whatever the fuck you want. Okay. I thought she was gonna go on a bit more. Um, okay, so your Q, Garen breaks free from all slows affecting him, being 30% movement speed for 2 seconds. So his next basic attack deals more damage than normal. So what you'll do is, you can click this little icon right here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, help this shoot. The silver's being stupid. Okay. There we go. Okay. What I just did was, I hit in like a brush. We call this a brush, right? Right there. We call that a brush. Um, basically, you can hide there, and then you can um, surprise enemies, and you go like, "Wait, what the hell? Where did you come from?" It's like, as Michael, uh, no, not Michael Jackson. Uh, Samuel Jackson just says, "Laws, laws." All right. Well, no one can kill us because we're technically we're broken as crap right now. Alright, All right, so now let me tell you the rest of his, his abilities. Um, so your W, okay, some champions, they'll gain more than one passive with their abilities. So sometimes you might get more than what you normally get. So right now, Garen's W, it gives him permanently extra armor and magic resist. Your armor and magic resist is going to be right here. That's your little red thing, which it says 69. Please do not make jokes in the comments section. Yes, I know it's 69. And the matter is this, which is 58. So, the more minions I kill, I'm going to gain more armor and magic resist. So, when I kill about 30, I'm going to get more. Alright, we can kill Sivir again. I know. Alright. See, I can use, okay, this is kind of an advanced tactic, but I can use my W on the tower, that way I don't take as much damage, because my W will get will reduce incoming damage by 30%. That's a lot. Like, towers usually hit for about, maybe, 100, I think. I'm going to wait till I'll fight some idiots. And now we use our ult. Or, okay. Oh my god. Damn it. Okay. So we'll stay here. Okay. So now, the biggest thing on your champion is your ultimate. Your ultimate decides and what gives your champion that dynamic flair, that extra oomph. Mm, I need Silver to come out a little more. Okay, so... Garen gain oh wow, he has another passive, which is the enemy champion that has the most kills, they become the villain. So that means his judgment and everything, he's gonna do way more damage than normal. So he calls upon Demacia, he'll do magic damage equal between so like 175. And then if the target has like 28% of missing health, or if you get them down low enough. They're screwed. So, alright. We're gonna go ahead and kill Sivir with this ult. There we go. Basically, his ult is execution. You just go ahead and finish them all. Alright. Alright. Well played. Come on. W, here we go. Oh, 
Okay, so this is another thing. Yes, I know that too. Oh my god. Um, basically, if you're too low, don't stay in lane. I highly recommend it. do not stay in lane because that will advise other people to come up to you and go like, "Oh, he's oh he's still staying up there. We can kill him," and you're on a killing spree of like awesomeness. Um, they want your shutdown gold, because your shutdown gold is like, I think it's, uh, I think they get 350, but it depends on your status, I think, if you're, like, legendary. Okay, I know that, okay. So now, we gotta destroy all turrets, all enemy turrets in the lane. So basically, my bottom lane is called top. Okay. I think, uh, the only person that's got is Soraka, but it's Soraka mid, and, I will definitely tell y'all about her, she's, she's not a mid she, she, she's cool, but she's not a mid lane. Basically, I could actually say any, basically any champ can go to any lane. But you have to play them to a certain degree. But when you first play them, you have to play them in the sudden roll that they're supposed to be. Okay. Hmm. I could kill Malphite. Yeah, I could kill him. Yeah, I can't. I, yeah, I can't kill him. Um, if I get tanky enough, I can actually tank towers, so... Yes, well, uh, there we go, I can make W again. There we go. Oh yeah, his Q can be used on turrets, so... You can probably mow it down way faster. Okay. So now... I think you should back. Okay, so you also need to also keep level up your abilities, as you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, hang on. Activate W again. Okay. Just trying to keep uh, D protected. Alright, I'll back off. Um, there's some time. Yep. Yours you're extended. There we go. Uh how in God's name I I, I don't I don't know how Soraka is beating Gnosis mid. What the actual I, I don't think I wanna know. Okay. Um Next, you're just gonna keep buying items. Uh, so every item has a build pack. Like this, this is like phase, basic attack scan, 20 movement speed for two seconds, and then they keep giving you decaying movement speed. So, if it's a range champion, they're not going to get as much. They're doing that to keep it kind of balanced, so um, I can't do that. So, let's go ahead. There are so many items, like the build paths are crazy. Like, you could build as much as you want. But for right now, you just need to... I know this is not on here, but I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade the boot. Because you can actually upgrade your boots. Um, basically, you're trying to buy better items. And the better items you buy, the stronger your champion becomes. So, the stronger your champion, the more damage you're going to deal. Uh, let's see. It's dead men's play that'll give me some extra movement speed and then when I get that extra movement speed when I hit like a hundred you'll see like a little buff right here that says a hundred I'm gonna do an extra hundred damage plus amplify with the key that's a lot of damage so I'll actually be doing like almost 400 damage all right Malphite has no mana 
so he's easy to kill. So let's go ahead. Execute. And then server's getting... Yes, I already know. Oh, I missed it. Okay. So... Activate W again. I'm not taking any damage. There are some items where you have to farm minions and then you get extra stuff. So I'm going to keep getting extra 5 health every time I kill a minion due to this item, which is called Jarum's Beast. Yes, I'm well aware. See, you see how Yi is staying, like, right there? Like, he's staying behind his minions. You want to stay behind your minions. Because the minions can turn to... Oh, man. I, we could have turned that. We could have turned that around. Um, so... I'm not going to build that yet, so we'll just go ahead and go straight to that. Okay. Start with my dead mans. And you can see, look how tanky I am. I am... I'm, now I have 2,440 health. If I got rid of all these items, I would be squishy as crap and they could kill me. This is your role in the top lane. You need to play like either like a tank or a fighter. You don't need to play a range person top. Um, that's more required for like, you know, there are like higher players that may actually know. Um, <clears throat> Korea, yes, I already know, Korean players are shot here. Uh, oh. Execute. Yeah, we can... I'm not worried about this tower, this tower is doing like... This tower is doing like no damage. Okay. Alright, so now I'm back off. Okay. Look at that. See, that's your role as a tank. You can basically tower dive like crazy. Garen can. Uh, Garen can. Uh, there's a few other champions that can too. Like Scion, Moo Moo, uh, Swajani. I'm probably naming a lot of characters, and you're probably, you've probably, this is your first time playing the game, and you're like, who, who the hell? What's a Sojani? What are you talking about? Basically, go to champions. Like after you finish, after you finish um your basic training, and then your battle training, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, and then just look at the champions, and then read read up on them. So then you can know what the champions are and what they do in the game. Um. I can't basically tell you every champion and teach you every champion because one, I don't play every champion. I'm not good at every champion. There are some champions I just suck. I, I, I'm I already gonna admit it. Uh, oh my god, you and this stupid slug. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now we can execute. Not fight. There we go. So, so far, I hope y'all are enjoying the game. Um, if y'all not really watching the whole gameplay, that's fine. Y'all can skip and jump the places. Uh, I'll try to make some annotations saying, like, what to skip and go to. Um, if y'all actually enjoy me teaching y'all like the basics and stuff, that's fine. Um, okay, so this is what we're doing right now. We're doing a flank. Shin can't do it, but I can. Yeah, 
Yes, I know that. I'm very well aware. Alright, so now we got this maxed. So now we can buy that item. Um. Oh, Silver's dead. Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, even I do it, you're gonna overextend. You're gonna be, you're, you're gonna make stupid stuff, and then you think about it. You need to think about it, so you don't do it again. Because you go like, why the heck did I do that? That was stupid. Oh man, I don't know what to have him or the hell. Oh, okay, Shin's back down there. Oh no, 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 don't die. Oh god. Rest in peace, ye. No way, I cannot. Oh no. Oh man, everyone's dying. Holy fuck. Okay. Yeah, bottom's just destroying. Shen and Sibber are actually not bad synergy. Shen's another tank, but he's not really golden tanky. He's got his own now support oriented. Execute. Basically, I need to save my ult for the um Alright, there we go. Basically, I need to save my ult for, like, the carry. Like, who's ever fed on their team? Like, his passive says, the person that has the most most kills, they become the villain. Um, I go for them, and I ult them. Because, one, I'm going to do way more damage than the other one. And I'll be able to kill them. But I have to get them lower. So, okay, we're about to probably finish this game and call it, call it a day. I don't care, I am, like, legit tank, so. Alright, my call. I mean, if they want to fight us, we can. I'm well aware. Execute. There we go. Now you couldn't get to the carry, so sometimes you can't get to the carry because sometimes they know how to actually play correctly. They know how to play safe. So for now, oh my god, dude, dude get, get the fuck out. Holy shit, I did not know the range is that huge on those turrets. Okay, so, yeah, I'm still learning, I'm, I'm actually learning more stuff too. I didn't really pay attention to it when I played the game. There we go. Yeah, this is probably, yeah, this is about game here. Yeah, I can't touch them. Okay. So I'm gonna back off. E. Get out. Alright. So, we're about to be full build. And, okay, there are some items that are like core items. But, you'll learn that as you progress through the game. Like, you'll find out that item is made specifically for that champion. And then they become like, legitly broken. Everyone says when the new champion comes out, like, oh my god, he's broken. Not really. Um, it's the way you play them. Because any champ can become broken. I can say right now, Garen. Garen's freaking broken. I mean, he has a freaking silent he has a freaking silence auto. He has an executioner. And then he does a spin, which we have a meme for Garen. It's called spin to win. That's right, spin to win. He's basically a bait boy. Alright, we'll go ahead and execute him. Okay, yeah, that's easy. Okay, that was easy, yeah. That was easy. Just go ahead and execute. 
that's about game. Alright guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. This was fun. Um, but now, I actually have to leave the rest of the learning to y'all, because y'all have to learn the game. Because I can't hold everything on your shoulder. Um, so, so far, we reached level 3. So now we can play blind summoner's pick. Blind pick on summoner's rift. So now we can actually do some PvP. Um, so, in the comments, um, I'm not going to play anymore for now. So I'm going to stop at level 3. Would y'all suggest me to like go ahead, buy what I want, and make my own? And then watch and see me play my actual champions that I know how to play. And see the reactions on other players. Or just grind it out and then just see how it comes. Because I will at least buy one thing of why the circle attack. Because so, that would give, give me a kind of a head start. Now one thing I kind of hate that I have to I have to get the experience boost because I don't really want to get the experience boost because one that'll help me kind of relearn the game and then I can get better. The only thing I'm more afraid of, uh, it's not gonna happen yet, but it's gonna happen in the I think when the new season starts. Because season eight, season eight is going to change a lot of the game. The game is mostly going to be more about runes and masters are becoming one system. Which sounds really cool and I'm gonna have to relearn some stuff. So it's kind of cool to be on this journey with y'all and relearn the game. It's it's kind of I actually not it's not that bad actually. It's just I really hate those tutorials. It was really cringy. Alright, it was fun being with y'all. Leave a comment, let me know um, if y'all want to know anything else. Um, I am a currently gold, so I can ask, y'all can ask me any questions about silver or bronze. I can give y'all some tips. I already know, like, the people in diamond, I mean, they're diamond. They don't even know what all, they, they don't really fully know what goes on down there. I know what goes down there because I've been through it because I never really left bronze. I didn't really leave bronze till season six. Like, I know what y'all have gone through. So, ask, ask me anything. Ask me away. Um, I might also make a question and answer uh, weekly thing if y'all keep leaving me comments and stuff. So, this is part five. I'm signing off. Y'all have fun. Y'all have a great day, great night, great <laughs>